Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and today it's 7, 7, 7, it's 7 Xanavirtuary today, and I just want to talk about how much I love Ultra 7. He is my favorite Ultraman for many reasons, and I love his show as well. It's honestly just my favorite show, not even just my favorite Ultraman show, I just love this show. It's the third in the Ultra franchise, came out in 1967, and in my opinion, it's a masterpiece. And for 7 anniversary, I just kind of want to do a review on episode 1 of Ultra 7 because, well, that's when this episode came out, so let's do it. Let's talk about the Kettledos. Let's first talk about Dan Malabosi, or I should say, Ultra 7. One thing I love about Dan Malabosi, unlike Hayata, Hayata is the host of Ultraman, but with 7, there's no host at all. Dan and Seven are the same person, and that's something I really like because we actually get to know the Ainwin called Ultra Seven, and that's something I love about his show, but let's talk about him in this episode. In this episode, he appears in a pretty funny way, and just screams Dan in my opinion. I, I love how he appears, because he's having fun as well, but also very serious about protecting Yurt and stopping Ultra Guard. And that's something I just really like. Then he makes a plan to defeat the Ainwins. Then he joins Ultra Guard at the end. Now it's taught about the Ultra Guard. One thing I really liked about this episode is the fact that they taught about every Ultra Guard member in pretty much pretty good detail. You know, taught about what they do, what their age is. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And I hadn't seen that in any future Ultraman shows at all. Something I kind of wish they bring back. Like Amanda Kiriyama. He's a great captain and I really like Kiriyama. We also get introduced to another Ultra Guard member, Soga. And he is the sharpshooter in the Ultra Guard. So get introduced to my favorite character, Furuhachi. I can't really explain why he's my favorite character, but he just is. I really just enjoy watching him. And he's the hot headed member of the Ultra Guard. We also get introduced to Amagi. His role in the Ultra Guard is strategy. Now let's talk about the final member in the Ultra Guard, Anne. Anne is a fantastic character and her role in the Ultra Guard, she's the medit. So the characters in the Ultra Guard, at least in his first episode, it's nice the fact that they introduce them all and we get to know them and we do get some scenes with Furuhachi and Soga. Meeting Dan is pretty funny to watch and honestly it's very nice and it's nice to see how Dan joins the team and everything. Let's talk about the effects. Let's first talk about Ultra 7's design. Ultra 7's design is beautiful. It's epic looking and I just really love it. I love Fat 7 honestly don't have a color timer because it made them more neat. It makes them stand out and that's something I find awesome. I also like the fact he has a weapon on his head. That is so cool to me and I love the ice water. I like the fact he has a beam lamp where he shoots beams from his head. That's also really awesome and really cool. 7's design is just very iconic in my opinion. Now let's talk about Windam, my favorite capture monster. I love Windam. I love how he looks. He looks so freaking cool and yeah I just really really love Windam. He is just so awesome a thing. Yes, more modern day Windams do look better, but this Windsor Windam with the Windsor suit still looks good in my opinion. I love how it looks, I love how Windam moves and I love how he fights. Anoin, cool. His design is the most coolest Anoin ever made. He beats every single Anoin because it's literally in his name. Anoin cool, so he's cool. <laughs> No, he's not. But still, Anwen Cool is a okay as nine. Essentially interesting and neat. I would not expect anyone looking like that, so yeah. And he does get a pretty cool death scene. The effects, the Minjil buildings look great, beautiful. The Minjil jets are also beautiful and cool to look at. The explosions are epic. I love the effects in this episode. And mostly because it's Suwaya's effects. It has its feel, it has its style. What do I like about this episode? Well, one thing I really liked is the fact of humanity is struggling what to do. They ain't thinking about blowing up the ship and sacrificing the people who were kidnapped. And that's something I think is pretty dark and pretty interesting to think about and how some of them are not agreeing with this and it's up to Dan to pre a plan and to save these people. One thing I really love about Ultra 7 is Fat 7 has capture launches. It's so cool. It's just an awesome concept. Well, 
basically summon if he can't transform he throws out one of his caps to monster to fight another monster it's so cool and so epic to watch i already said this but i also really love the fact in this episode they introduce every character and we get to know what their spots in octagard is now what is my final thoughts for episode one of ultra seven now i think this episode it's not one of Seven's best episodes, but still a good episode, in my opinion. I do like this episode, there's many enjoyable things about it. Is it the best episode 1 in the Ultra franchise? No, there's better episode 1's out there. But still, this episode is still really good, and honestly, has many things that had reappeared in many Ultra shows. And that's something I really love. Before I end off this video, I do want to say Ultra 7's fun fact of the day. So Ultra 7 is well why is he called ultra 7 well it's pretty simple because he's the seven member of the ultra guard i mean it's plain. see the ultra guard members their name is ultra 1 ultra 2 ultra 3 and ultra 4 ultra 5 and who is the sith member well that is dan Malabosi. dan is the sith member since the ultra guard don't know who seven's name is and what his identity they sit him as a seven member so his name is ultra 7 pretty interesting so that is pretty much it for this video. I do highly recommend to check out Ultra 7. If you hadn't seen the show, go check it out because this show is a masterpiece in my opinion. It's very well made, it has great writing, great storyline, great plot. It's just a really fantastic show, very enjoyable, at least in my opinion, and has pretty good effects as well if you like older effects. So I do highly recommend this show. So that is it. Happy Anniversary 7. Tell me down below what you're going to do on 7's anniversary. Are you going to be watching some 7 episodes? I certainly am. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you, 7. Thank you, EG Super Wild, for making Ultra 7. Xanafar is out.